Black Lives Matter decided that this was the prime location to paint their mural. Do you think that it's fair that they take up space from the Chinese community who who's this area belongs to and this area is to celebrate the cultural history of the Chinese people in in Canada in their history building the West. Yeah, uh, that's why Chinatown exists. Is it fair for them to come here and take up your space? No, it's not fair. We want to keep it as just only the Chinese culture. Kian Bexi for Rebel News. I'm here in Chinatown today because a mural is being put up in Chinatown. No, it's not to remember the victims of communist oppression in Hong Kong. It's for Black Lives Matter. Now, you might remember our story just about a month ago where Black Lives Matter radicals working for a BLM surrogate called Pink Flamingo, they wanted to paint over this beautiful piece of artwork with art like this. They wanted to paint over this beautiful piece of artwork with Black Lives Matter propaganda. And in fact, radical mayor Nahid Nenshi was going to pay them $120,000 to do that. Mayor Nahid Nenshi actually still wanted to give them the money. And they said that after public outcry, after we published this story at SaveTheMural.com, they said that they were going to wait a year for things to cool down because Calgary was too racist to receive their message. Now, instead of waiting a year and taking that $120,000 that Nahid Nenshi still wanted to give them, well, they wanted to fast track it and instead are painting the mural in Chinatown. Yes, because that makes sense, painting Black Lives Matter propaganda in Chinatown. They had a whole city to do it, except for, you know, one spot that had beautiful artwork in it. They had a whole city, really, to put a mural up and instead they decided to put it up on the one street that the Chinese people in Calgary have. Now, I don't know what you know about Chinese history, especially in Canada, but the Chinese people who immigrated to Canada in the early days of our country, well, they helped build it. That's why there's a Chinatown in every big city in the West. That's why there's a Chinese restaurant where you'll get the best Chinese food you've ever had in every small town in Alberta, in Saskatchewan and BC. About 15,000 Chinese people worked on the railroad that Sir John A. Macdonald had the vision to build in Canada, about 600 of those workers who were building Canada perished on the job. It was a tragedy then, and it's a tragedy now, and it's worth remembering. Now, I wanna contrast that to the amount of black people that died in slavery in Alberta. Can you guess the number? The number, well, it's zero. You wanna know another number that is zero? The amount of black slaves that ever existed in Alberta. See, slavery was outlawed in Upper Canada before the 1800s, that was before Alberta was even a province. The only slavery that ever, ever, ever existed in Western Canada was before the white man even came. It was actually indigenous tribes on the West Coast that had slaves. There was no black slaves here in Western Canada, but for some reason, Black Lives Matter is trying to import a problem from America to here. And in doing so, they're painting over the history of the Chinese people here in Calgary. You can see one of the beautiful pieces of artwork right behind me right now. And I'm going to walk over to where they're painting the mural to see what's going on. Hey there, how are you? I was wondering if you could tell me how many black slaves there ever were in Alberta. Wow. How many? You're a black slave? Could you tell me, ma'am, uh, whiter than me, why are you painting a mural for black people? Isn't this supposed to be a mural for black people painted by black people? So just so you know, there has never been a black slave in Alberta, not one. No black slave has ever died here in Alberta or in Western Canada. Now, where you're painting this in Chinatown, uh, this, this, this place that we're in, I hope you're recording this. Over 600 Chinese people, laborers died while building the railroad. 600. Compare that to the number of black slaves that have ever been in Western Canada. The answer is zero, just so you know. Now, unlike the Black Lives Matter radicals who apparently didn't consult the community at all, I'm gonna go speak with a few of the folks that live here in Chinatown to see what they think about the radicals who are really burning down the United States, taking up their space here in Chinatown in Calgary. Black Lives Matter decided that this was the prime location to build 
their to paint their mural do you think that it's fair that they take up space from the chinese community who who's this area belongs to and this area is to celebrate the cultural history of the chinese people in in canada and their history building the west yeah uh, that's why chinatown exists is it fair for them to come here and take up your space no it's not fair we want to keep it so just only the chinese culture why do you think they chose you guys? Do you think they just thought they could pick on you? Probably it's a visible minority. Yeah. That's what they think. But I don't against the Black Lives Matter at all. I have the same feeling, but I just don't like to come here to take the mix it up. Yeah. We want to just maintain a sexualist culture here. Exactly. If right on the wall, it's not beautiful. So after doing a little bit of digging, the white woman's name was Katie Green, you know, the whitest artist you'll ever find. She paints vaginas for a living, and for some reason she took it upon herself to take up space in Chinatown. Do you want to pull over here for a sec? How are you? Good. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, Rebel Media News. Thanks so much. Could you tell me, do you think Black Lives Matter should be painting a mural in Chinatown? No, not in their historic Chinatown. Why would they be putting a mural oh. like that in historic Chinatown? That's unacceptable. Take care. Thanks yes, so much. Have a good day. Well, there you have it. That was actually just someone who pulled up, uh, pulled over by me as I was recording to say, not only do they love rebel media, they think that uh, Black Lives Matter shouldn't be taking up space that was designated for a different oppressed community. They're play playing the oppressed Olympics. Thank you so much for tuning into Rebel News. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content. And if you've already done that, be sure to ring the notification bell. Doing that keeps you up to date with the news as it happens.